Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another YouTube video. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about World of Tanks and how to improve. It's a question I get all the time on my Twitch, and I've answered it in so many different ways, and I think this is a good time to be able to sit down, talk about it a little bit, be like, all right, this is what you can do. So in order to, I think, explain what to do, let's talk a little bit about my background and how I improved. And I started off in 2012 as a 13 year old. I was very bad. I played for about maybe two years being very, very terrible. And uh, I was pretty much just playing by myself, queuing up game after game after game. I feel like a lot of people start that way and I wasn't improving. My win rate was probably about 45%. I was a red player. And if you look at my stats from back then, you can definitely see it. So how did I improve? So first thing I did is I took a nine month break and I came back and I made a decision. All right, we're going to get better. So what did I do? So the first thing I did is I started watching Twitch streams and that might sound like a bit of an ad because I'm a Twitch stream, but that's what I did. So I started watching Anfield and Anfield is this really, really cool guy. He was a World of Tanks pro back in the day. He doesn't really stream tanks anymore, but he was so knowledgeable about the game, the mechanics and how to play it. And uh, I watched him a lot. So I would ask him a lot of questions like Anfield, what is your mindset going to this situation? Why are you loading that shell? All basically any question you can imagine asking. I probably annoyed him a little bit, to be honest. I would take those answers back and I would try to apply them to my gameplay so I could learn and go forward with being a better player. So the next thing you can do to improve is you need to watch your own replays. That's so important. By watching your own replays and evaluating what you did right and what you did wrong, you can really reapply that those decisions and you won't have to be so confused on what to do at a later date because if you have that past memory of something going right you can often replicate that and like not every game will be the same but if you're being able to critically think about each situation what to do you're going to do a lot better going forward the next thing i want to talk about is mechanics now mechanics is the type of thing in the game that if you don't have it correct and you don't understand them properly then you will never be able to get to the highest potential that you have so what are mechanics now mechanics are things like bush mechanics being able to use camo values being able to use armor pe penetration models knowing how much shell penetration you have what your alpha pen or damage is all these different things go into it and if you don't have a good understanding of it then you will often be outplayed by people who have a better understanding of it so it's very important to learn these things now the next question and the obvious question is how do I understand or get to know these mechanics? So I'll tell you what I did. I watched Quickie Baby, and I know that seems a little cliche, but Quickie Baby has some really good videos on bush mechanics. Um, you know, he uses a website called Taints.gg, which has really nice, like uh, armor penetration models. Um, gives you all the soft stats for uh, tanks, and he really explains what they mean. So, as much as some people sometimes rag on Quickie Baby, he does have some really good information for some of those newer or uh, players who are just trying to improve. I'm probably actually going to be making a video on the game mechanics in a little bit, so I'll be able to explain a little bit better in that video on how to use them, exactly what they are. So keep an eye out for that. All right, we're back in the present. So let's talk about what you can do right now to improve your gameplay. So something that I did is learning how to make a mental checklist and i read a lot of guides on the forums about this and what you need to be able to examine both on your team and the enemy team at the beginning of the battle to make sure that you make the correct decisions so for instance let's take a look at the enemy team here they have six heavy tanks four mediums two tds two lights and an arty and we're also bottom tier so playing on this map Basically what normally happens is that the medium, the middle, and the south are dominated by both mediums and heavy tanks. And since we're bottom tier, it's very difficult to play in a tier 8 medium tank in those, both those spots. So I like playing the north, especially from the east where you can have a little bit more room to run away if needed. And a thing to note is that our team at the beginning came with us, so we wouldn't have to be worried about getting overrun. Something very important to note. I see so many people complaining about it. They go to a side, they're the only one there. They die, then they're like, oh, stupid team. 
why didn't you come with me? And it's like, no, 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 no. You need to recognize that if your team's not with you, they're trying to win another flank. And by playing there, you're actually hurting your team more than actually helping them. Now, the next piece of advice might not necessarily be applicable for everyone, but it's something that really helped me. So when I was getting better, I found a group of guys that were really a lot like me, and I played with them a lot. Some of them you might know from the stream. They're still around. But we really learned to push each other to get better and improve. We ended up making a competitive tourney team. And from there, we played in leagues and stuff like that. And by playing in such a competitive environment, we all began to improve very drastically. And it was kind of cool to see like all these players who, as we weren't very good at the beginning, as the more we played together, and the more we learned, and the more seriously we took it, the, uh, the better we did. So it was very cool to see. And uh, as I said, I'm still in contact with a lot of these guys, but that's really something that I think it's underrated in playing video games is finding a good group of guys that you can play with and push each other. Now, not every gaming group has to be super competitive. Obviously, there's social groups that are more play for fun and there's nothing wrong with that. But I've always been partial to playing with a group of people that push me. Now, I think there's this saying that you should never be the smartest guy in the room. And I think that kind of applies in World of Tanks because if you are playing with a bunch of people that aren't pushing you and you're trying to improve, then maybe you need to find a new situation. I hope this video helped you guys a little bit. It's been a question on my Twitch that people have asked quite a bit. And I thought that YouTube would be a good place to talk about it a little bit. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Um, if you have any more questions for me, you can ask me on my Twitch or you can leave it in the YouTube comments. My Discord and Twitter links will be down below and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Enjoy. Peace.